to the villagers. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, and I know that I said that I was going to bring you guys a um, update as to what's going on with me. So, um, updates. Let's see. My son is still um, doing the independent living. The, the oh, youngest one. He's now 17. My oldest son is in the Marine Corps and he will be graduating the day before Thanksgiving. You guys forgive me for all this lighting because this sun ain't about the right uh, over here blinding me. And I refuse to put on sunglasses right now. I know I'm looking really oily and shiny right now. I just did a um, 14 hour shift at work, um, just getting off. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and jump on here and see if I can give you guys a little tidbit about what's going on while I'm driving home. Uh, as for me, last time we talked, um, I was trying to decide if I was going to do travel nursing or stay put. So actually, as soon as I decided to do travel nursing, I got a phone call from one of the correctional facilities here in Florida, and, um, and that's where I am. I actually have them working night shifts, um, 12 hour shifts, sorry, that's how you're tired when you've been up for over 24 hours. So yeah, I've been working night shift, 12 hour shifts for the last, let me see, four months. And um, it's been, in the beginning it was you know, interesting, acclimating, going from working days for so many years to working nights. Um, I do enjoy working nights, but I guess at my age, 47, yes, I had a birthday night, 92270. Happy birthday to me. Um, at my age, not that it's you're too old to work nights but now that I don't have any kids um, tying my ankles and keeping me from going to do things that I want to go do for me uh, let's see you know you want to work day shift because you want to be able to plan vacations better. You want to be able to, you know, schedule yourself better. And um, considering I haven't worked nights in so long and still acclimating, um, my scheduling is not always the best um, to do getaways. So, still working on that. Uh, as far as my HCG, I'm still still working it out. It's been a struggle because, you know, one son graduated from high school, then and he graduated with honors. My oldest one graduated with honors, um, went off to the Marine Corps, and you know, as much as I was excited about being an empty nester, I do miss my son, sons. I'm not gonna lie. But um, it's just me and the Yorkie, Romeo. And uh, he's pretty needy, trust. Uh, but, you know, I've been missing the boys. And um, it has nothing to do with uh, sabotaging my ACG progress. I can do that all by myself even on my happiest of days. Um, I think what sabotages my HCG progress is Tom, because I have been anemic practically my whole life to the point that 
there are times when I do blood work I have to or I get so sick that I have to have um, blood transfusions but I've always turned those down and just work on my nutrition and um, iron pills so I do take uh, prescription iron pills twice a day and I haven't been compliant I can say in the last month um, so I, I can tell that when I'm not being compliant not only because I'm not putting it in my mouth but when my desire is so strong for protein and I can smell collard greens and cabbage, any type of greenery, which tends to bother me, but not if I cook them together. Um, I know, I just made up a word, greenery. But anyway, you know, green vegetables. And um, I crave beets. When I'm doing that, I know that my... Um, that my iron levels are down so and, and when I am going through that especially when Tom's coming on whoo man we can eat meat 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 I am not a sweet tooth person during Tom I don't crave sugar sweets chocolates none of that stuff I want my ribs my steaks just meats so um, I am actually at 210 and maintaining. Um, I haven't injected in probably five days because uh, I've been working a lot of overtime and um, I'm exhausted, not getting a lot of sleep with the, the hurricane. Irma just hitting us in Fort Myers and you know neighbors using their saws to cut down trees and and then the cutting of the grass and then we're like getting excessive excessive rain here so that's another thing people are as soon as it kind of dries up people are cutting their grass and when you're on work night when you work night shift and um trying to get that sleep you know people are cutting their grasses or people are cutting wood and doing things that extracurricular activity situations you know it's, it is truly difficult so plus my mom's in town and we've been hanging out so I always feel guilty leaving her to hang out by herself even though my brother and my sister-in-law or in the living room, in the house. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Um, so she came up because um, my mom's a businesswoman. She owns an assistant living facility in Miami, but she also buys and sells cars. She buys cars, fix them. Well, my brother fixes them, and then she sells them. But that is the update. I have just arrived to my destination. And um, I'm going to see my mom before she leaves. I have to try and make this ute this, um, back into the driveway. Mm -hmm. So, y'all got to excuse me. Y'all hold on for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I had to back into the driveway. So, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, I want to go in here and spend a, a good, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour with my mom before she hits the road and head back to Miami. Because I won't see her until I go down to Miami. So, anyway, guys, uh... I know there's a lot more that I need to update you guys with and 
Um, of course, lock situation. My hair is growing healthy. And um, I know I need a retwist. Just not too tired to do it. Um, I am trying a new makeup foundation by Estee Lauder when the color match which matches perfectly perfect <laughs> uh, only problem is I have oily skin um, especially in my t-zone and I tried using the milk of magnesia but uh, that doesn't work for me it just turns my um, makeup lighter yeah hold on my niece is coming out yeah, sorry about that. It's my niece's fifth birthday today, and I was trying to convince my sister-in-law to um, let her open up Grandma's gift because Grandma's heading back to Miami. I know I got to learn how to look at the camera and look at you guys and not look down and look at myself. Anyway, yeah, I was saying, um, I actually want to start doing a video um, being 47 years old, learning how to do makeup at my age because I'm new at it and um, trying to learn what makeup works and what doesn't I'm going to eventually show you guys um, all the faulties that I have the imperfections I have with my skin I know a lot of people say I have perfect skin but trust me I don't clear it off you'll see but I tried using milk and magnesia to try and hold back the um, the oil but that doesn't work with me because when I put Milk of Magnesia on, it makes my foundation much lighter. And then my foundation doesn't work with me. I was using Bare Minerals. I have been using Bare Minerals powder, um, well, Bare Minerals, since I want to say, since it first came out many, many years ago. At least, I would say maybe a decade now. Um but what i noticed this year being in florida is that during the summer i get darker and during the winter i get lighter so the bare minerals powder that i have makes me look casket ready basically so now i use the bare minerals powder during the winter because i have two containers left of it and i think i'm going to continue to use it because i like the way the mineral powder feels on my face I'm not I really really like Estee Lauder um, color match but I don't like the oily feeling I'm feeling on my face right now it feels dirty and I'm always feeling the need to dig my skin other than that I know Estee Lauder has a powder I do want to try the Estee Lauder powder but I also purchased a new um, powder from the beauty supply store that um, I was told by a source who is a MUA um, that this product is really really good um, comparable to Estee Lauder and so I bought the powder and I'm going to I think I'm going to use it tonight on my way to work so anyway I am about to go in here spend a little time with moms and Denise and not the niece, but you know, my niece. And I am gonna go and get some sleep because I'm exhausted and I gotta get back out of here um, by five and back at work at six. And I'll be doing that till six tomorrow morning unless I don't get all my tasks done at work and then I'm stuck there till 7, 30, 8 o'clock trying to get them done again. So anyway, guys, I missed you guys and I hope that you guys are doing well. Remember, God loves you, and so do I.